hello friends good morning today i am going to present how version 17 has improved studio workflow or studio approval workflow so a little improvement but it makes a good sense i have uh, configured sales approval so when the status is quotation you can see uh, require of an approval so if i click so it is required you know with a specific person and it is approved also okay so i have put different condition when it is only 5000 then you can see any person can approve directly based on amount when amount exceed 10000 it will require single approval when amount increases to 15000 it will require two level approval so how did i set up so i am going into studio now and uh, setting up approval for sales administrator or manager where i have defined specific person to approve that's why the uh, name uh, or allocation is uh, you know shown over here who is requesting approval and this is the improvement which i was talking about notification order so a notification order can be set where when someone a salesperson is asking for approval how notification will be sent so first notification will be sent to the sales administrator group and then i have set up accounting accountant uh, approval uh, for exclusive approval based on second notification and here is the condition on this rule i have set when sales team is sales and total is about ten thousand then it is required approval and then second is when accounting group uh, is there then 15,000 and above will require approval and payment terms is 30 or 45 days so I set any of the condition match then it requires approval not both I can set all or any so how it is making sense so when you can say payment terms or amount so if amount is let's say 1,000 it doesn't require approval but when payment terms goes to 30 days you can see it requires approval for the manager or accountant so that's how it is making difference so you can put multiple conditions now which was already available in version uh, previous version also but the notification order is the new improvement which we have got uh, with this uh, uh, approval workflow so here when i enable the filter i can add as many rules as i want you know sales team or signature or you know date or uh, status wise or you know these all are connected with our sales order even based on sales quotation template i can put a condition for approval so there are many ways you can uh, uh, you know create this particular kind of approval workflow inside the studio so that's uh, what i wanted to uh, show you so coming again uh, notification order is the new improvement which will send across to one by one uh, to the respective person so now i am just as a mustafa rahi and uh, if amount goes to uh, like the condition was payment terms that's why it is asking for approval and here is my accountant login when he opens the sales and the quotations he will see an activity like grant approval as an accountant login and he can see the salesperson has asked for approval based on the payment terms and once i say approved so accountant approval is there and over my window on quotation now you can see the quotation which says accountant has approved this particular flow and you can see the accountant has approved on this particular date and then i can confirm as a salesperson and move ahead with this sales order so this is how it will uh, work in the latest odoo version 17 uh, with notification uh, if i create any new quotation from any salesperson or sales executive it will send first to a sales admin and then second to accountant that's how it will work as a notification hope uh, this will help many people to set approval workflow on sales purchase account payment uh, all the way i will show you a little uh, entry about accounting workflow when uh, you know invoice is there let's say any invoice has been there 
and if I want to set wherever there is a confirm button I can set an approval workflow so in confirm I can say set an approval flow so I want to say accountant the highest group and accountant should be responsible okay. and I can specify to a user also who is requested to approve and I can send a message and notification orders so when I select exclusive approval only one person can approve who is defined over here and then here I can put a condition like what conditions should I require if uh, the type is invoice general entry or customer invoice I can say or credit note I can say an approval you know on the basis of customer credit note also I can seek an approval without approval I cannot release any credit note so this is how uh, you can set uh, approval workflow then on amount or then you know any you know uh, policies uh, you can uh, amount due or amount due signed or total total signed or anything uh, you can set an approval like this so hope this will help uh, uh, you know uh, many people so now it is an invoice and I have put a, uh, approval on the credit note so credit note invoice sharing same object but now when I go into invoice uh, you can see approval request accountant but it's not a credit note so I can directly confirm it it will not stop me okay so it is asking for approval request because uh, the type is the same all right and now when I go to accountant and his role of accounting and customer invoices this is asking for approval so customer was missing let me set a customer and I can confirm okay. now if I go again it will be coming into confirm mode now if I want to release a credit note and making the refund it is again asking for approval so that's how we can set our approval based on so it will again seek the approval request to accountant and accountant will get approval request based on credit note so you can see a grant approval activity has been defined for the same and then once accountant will approve then we can go and check credit note where accountant has approved and then we can confirm so this is how uh, you can set uh, various workflow for approval based on your payment or wherever confirm or uh, state is there you can do that hope this will help thank you